Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I want to give you a look at my new project that I mentioned in a previous video recently. This is my little day book of dreams. I am calling it that tentatively because I don't know if that's going to change. It's actually based on a class that I've been working on for a while now about uh, just kind of gathering all of your favorite things, things that you love, things that inspire you in one place and then creating art out of it. So yeah, that's that's the course and it's taken a lot of different forms and right now it's just a hot mess because I have so many different ideas and I don't know uh, how to combine them, how they mesh well. I haven't figured that out yet and throughout once I do then I think everything will fall into place. But I wanted to make a daybook of dreams and actually uh, test it out. This this particular, like the stuff that's in here, um, lived in a different place. It lived in a different binder or a different uh, journal. It's just things that lived separately that I'm trying to put together into one thing now. So basically to describe what a daybook of dreams is, it's just a commonplace book really like the when I looked at it the other day I was just like this is just a commonplace book of all the things that I love uh, and that's key is that everything that goes into your day book of dreams should be things that you love things that attract you things that spark joy things you know that inspire you it's just a very positive place a positive journal and my intention for it is to uh, do pages in here and do journaling in here. Everything is going to be positive. Everything is going to be self-affirming. Everything is just, um, there's going to be no negativity in this book. That That's one thing that I sort of uh, committed to myself to do is there's no negativity in here. So like in an art journal, like in a regular art journal, uh, I would journal like how I was feeling and not all the times would it be like happy or good feelings? Sometimes I'm struggling with something or I'm dealing with something that's very difficult. And so I don't want to call those things negative feelings, but um, they're not they're not happy feelings. They're not like 100% positive feelings. They um, necessarily, when I look back at it, they don't really spark joy. You know, I might like how the page ended up looking, but the content of the page isn't like a happy one. And so, you know, that's, art journals tend to be like just a accumulation of all the things, different things that you were feeling, all your different struggles, and that's fine for the art journals. But I kind of wanted a place that it was just really positive and really happy, sort of like my happy place, but in like a journal format of some sort. Um, and that's because I've been like this year, one of my main intentions is to maintain a a positive mindset. Uh, so kind of, uh, I tend to, I don't want to say I'm a pessimist, but I'm a, I'm a realist. So I tend to uh, see things how they are. And if there's a pattern in certain things, um, know the outcome already. Like I can expect an outcome and that outcome doesn't necessarily end up being a positive outcome. And I kind of want to change that. I don't want to change that thinking. I don't want to constantly, um, like weigh the two options and then see the middle ground and it's like oh it's neither going to be optim like it's neither going to be a good outcome or a bad outcome it's just this is how it's, it is going to be um and because i've been reading a lot about uh, positive mindsets and you know when you when you think positively optimistically uh it manifests itself in 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 your life and so things will come out and turn out well and etc uh and so, yeah, I'm, I've been trying very hard to be mindful of how I think about certain things. And late, like currently with everything going on, um, I've been trying to catch myself saying that things are going to be okay. Uh, we're going to all pull, get through this. Uh, and it's, you know, there's a light at the end, to use a cliche. But yeah, so I've been trying to do that. And so I figured... I would keep a place for me where I can journal gratitude, positive affirmations, punch things in um, that inspire me, clip pictures, just kind of like a, it's a, it's a commonplace book. It's a silver room, but a happy one, um, one that's supposed to spark joy. And so I have it in here. This is a B6 Planner Society TN that I actually punched holes into and added rings in um, because I wanted it 
I wanted my book to be a B6 size. I wanted the papers to be 5x7 because I actually really like journaling on B6. Uh, I believe my other, my first, like not my first commonplace book, but my last one, the Silver Rearum that I made um, taking Kaylee's class, that was also B6 and I really enjoyed working in that size. My Junk Journal July that I ended up putting in that journal, in the Silver Rearum journal, also was a B6. It's just a nice in-between size because I normally like to work small in like an A6 and then sometimes I think my bigger journals only go up to A5 and so B6 is kind of like nice in the middle. And so that's what I did. Uh, I have another TPS TN and I use that as my sticker book. Um, so I purchased this one. This was like on sale on her sh I mean, in the shop um, just to turn it into a, a binder because I had these pages originally in a bigger binder. So they're bigger pages. I had to trim them down. And I want to try the binder format for this because I can easily punch things in, pull things out. I'm basically going to try to do a little Brandy Kincaid. I think she... Uh, she uses all types of books, but she does use uh, books that are rings and everything like that. And so, yeah, so that is what this is. This is just like, I guess my happy place, my happy place. Like, I don't know how else to call it. Um, but I am calling it Daybook of Dreams because I'm trying to uh, just kind of see how it would work in tandem with my class idea. And so um, it's... Basically, I haven't done much in it yet. I transferred this over from where it used to live because um, I was doing this sort of inspiration clipping thing in a different place. And so a lot of these pages are transferred over from that. But this one is actually like something that I actually did. Um, and it's I used these pictures of this little caravan tea room was in a Daphne's diary and one it's like totally fits my aesthetic and two uh, I like the idea of having a little caravan that is something I mean this one's a tea room but I think mine would be like a craft space but um I, I just love this look it inspires me so much I um if I can visualize where like if I had my own place or whatever it would kind of look like this maybe not a caravan but that would be really cool because there are people who live in RVs all the time but yes, I have to do some journaling here about why I put this in here. Um, this um, this originally said my dream caravan or something like that. Um, and then when I transferred it, I had to like take a lot of the pages apart because they were too big to fit into this format. And so I actually haven't finished this yet. But yeah, I, I don't know if I'm explaining this very well, but that's basically what this is. It's just a, it's a commonplace book of things that inspire me, things that bring me joy. Like, I love this wallpaper that I have. And so I cut it down and put it in here. I actually ripped the paper that was attached to it in the back. And so I have some, uh, I have some Amity Bloom papers. These are some of the printables that Nazi has in her shop. They're beautiful. They're beautiful, like, wallpapers that she scans in. And um, I kind of want to put some of these guys in to here because this, like, I love this. This this speaks to me like this makes me happy looking at it it definitely inspires me I love the florals I love everything and so I kind of want to cut those down and put them in here um, all of them I backed with some grid paper because um, this is great to do some journaling and this is my favorite grid um, it's a printable it's from the Maggie Holmes I want to say confetti collection it's from one of the Maggie Holmes collections so you can get from AC Digitals I love this grid and so I backed all of them with that and I just printed these guys off on um, 32 pound paper and it's nice and smooth and pretty and so I have that ready to be cut and punched into here I might use it to layer some things up um, I have some book pages that I have here I love this um, I kind of want to do like an introduction here and so we are introduced it's from a Winnie the Pooh page um, I had this laying around. This was like, it traveled from all over the place from my, my uh, cork boards to my desk to everywhere. And so I decided, you know what, <laughs> it needs a home. So I punched it in here and it's just uh, uh, one of Christie's illustrations, Planner Society. This, I did it in when it was in the other, some other journal and I never did the journaling. So I'll do the journaling in here. 
I love this image. I've been hoarding this. This is from a Free People catalog, hoarding it for years. I feel like it ended up in a different uh, art journal before and because I had like two copies of it, but I've been hoarding it for years. I love this image and I cover her eyes. I did like a Kaylee Gray thing when you cover the eyes um, and I just use one of my stickers, fill your soul with wonder because this whole book is about things that inspire, things that bring you joy, things that, you know, wonder you know that feel it's like that feeling the feeling of inspiration and all this stuff and so I have grid paper scattered throughout because I want to journal in here I actually do want to do a little journal with me in here um, I've been another idea that I have like I swear I, I, I haven't been motivated to create anything but the ideas don't stop coming uh, is to create my own uh, affirmation deck and I've been jotting down like random things that come to my head. I actually wrote something down like in the middle of the night, you know, like in the middle of the night when you're trying to go to sleep and then your brain says something really cool. Um, uh, I wrote it down and it's like, a, it's a very positive affirmation and I kind of want to put it in here because it's beautiful. Uh, it's one of those like, oh my God, I wrote something good at like 3 a.m. Uh, <laughs> so I have some scrapbooking paper here. I love this paper from the Maggie Holmes Willow collection. Um, for this class, actually, for the Daybook of Dreams class, I did start filming things for it. My intention was to uh, teach you how to create a journal to keep your inspiration in and um it was a snippet journal is what i'm calling snippet journals and i had some pieces of it left over and so of course i put the fabric here i have some music paper and then of course this is the one that i did some ledger paper cut down some more pa like paint paper scrap of paper i started here i had this piece of tissue paper laying around so i just kind of glued it there Again, another thing that's kind of hopped through places. Um, so this says, you are capable of amazing things. Again, keeping positive thoughts, positive everything. Flowers blooming, you know, my words flourish. This was also, it lived in a different journal. That's why you can see the, the holes. It lived in a different place. And I moved it here. Um, it says, keep exploring. So I was going to do some journaling there because I really like travel and the idea of going to a new place and exploring new things. Love this vellum. Scrap piece of vellum. Punched it in here. It's beautiful. More writing space. Book pages. This divider also uh, traveled. It's a Felicity Jane one. And I really like this pattern. Not so much this, but this one. Um, and so that went in here. More book pages. Paper. This also lived in a different place. I backed it with some different paper. So basically, I, I, I'm putting it together sort of like a junk journal. I love these papers from Daphne's Diaries. That's why I put them in here. But yeah, it's basically set up like a junk journal. And then I have all of these things, like all of these pieces of paper, all of these uh, magazine clippings and things like that. Um, I have some lace and whimsy bits. Um, Kathy sent me one of her boxes and I actually did something that I need to put in here. Um, this was uh, the card that um, detailed what came in the box. So behind the grid paper that I put on it is just, you know, a list of all the stuff that's in her whimsy box. But I loved, loved the floral in the background. And so I'm just like, I want to use this. I, I can journal in the back. I want to use this for something, but I don't need all that, the, you know, the content. So I just kind of used some spare grid paper and covered it. And now I can punch this into my journal. I love the illustrations. I have a few of her, um, die cuts in here they're scattered about um, they're in here too um, so things that I want to use I have a lot of clippings positive clippings bluebird inspiration for your home um, I love this vintage afternoon and tea these are from Daphne's diary a lot of word clippings uh, I have some journaling cards here so these were from uh, one of Kaylee's classes if you're on if you're a get messy in um, if you have a membership to Get Messy, um, this class, her Loving Mama class, is up on the Get Messy site, and in it you get a kit, and it's a beautiful, beautiful kit. Um, and so I printed out some of the journaling cards and some of the bigger journaling cards, and these are going to be like layering bits. I can punch them in, do some journaling. And so um, I have some of my own tags here. These are fl the floral tags. So, like, I'm keeping basically all the pretty things that I like you know in here and I have 
this this TN has so many pockets and so all of this stuff will end up being in these pages but I just actually haven't sat down to work in this except for kind of repurposing that other spread to put in here to do this but I have everything here and I wanted just to show you the, the basics of this project I really don't know where it's going honestly it's just a place it's just a place to just sit down and put things in that I like so I, I don't know maybe like a visual Pinterest board um, it is it's definitely a commonplace book that I have realized when I was kind of contemplating this class and like going through like all the things that I would want in a book in one of these books um, it's definitely a commonplace book it's definitely a place because a commonplace book is where you just kind of put things in that you want to remember that you want to recall maybe it's things that inspire you um, you know it's just a place to have all these things and so that's what this is um, in the class though um, if I eventually do this class I will show you how to make the snippet journal and then use that snippet journal as your daybook of dreams but yeah so this is my new project um, I know this is like a, <laughs> a very long-winded video, long-winded show and tell, but this is my new project that I've been wanting to share. Um, I'm hoping to sit down and do some things in here. I was recently on like looking through the Get Messy site because I haven't logged on to that in a very long time and it's a season of affirmation and I've been wanting to I, I mean, I've been jotting down affirmations, but I haven't actually documented them in any place. They're just they live on my phone and I want to get some of those affirmations down in here in a very artistic form and so you know something that will inspire me every time I look at it so I think that's what I'm going to sit down and do next it'll probably be in a separate video because I think this video is a little bit long <laughs> I want to keep it brief and I just kind of wanted to show you a peek at the project so it's basically this little binder that I made from a TN you can actually see here it has holes here where the, sh the strings were um, I got these rings off of Amazon I will leave a link down below to this TN if it's still available in the TPS shop and of course the rings from Amazon if you're thinking of taking a TN and putting rings in it or taking any sort of book and putting rings in it you can definitely take a an altered book like a book that you alter and put rings in it and that can be your little book but yeah so stay tuned for me working in this book. I will try my hardest to film things because lately I've been working on stuff and not actually filming them. <laughs> uh, taking a little break, you know, schedule is completely off and everything is just, it, we live in, it's just a hot mess. Um, but yeah, so I, I think I'm going to sit down and work on a page and I'll definitely film a process of that. But thanks so much for watching. I know this video is kind of like all over the place, I think. Um, but I hope this gives you an, an idea of what I'm doing in this book. Um, I will try to uh, do more videos in it and stuff like that. And yeah, I'm going to stop talking now because I really don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm just like rambling. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.